Hello Internet, here's a quick tip. In Unity, when you create a new class, you get a, a pretty default class, I guess, uh, a default mono behavior. You can customize those classes and scripts uh, using some custom custom templates that Unity provides for you. And you just do that by, by modifying the template. And so the way you do that is actually by going into wherever your Unity installation is. So I have two versions of Unity installed here. To figure out where your Unity is installed, you would look in Unity Hub under where it's installing things. Um, mine's in a custom position, but it'll probably be under progr your program files or somewhere there. Uh, it, it's best just to look it up. Um, and then they're going to be sorted by version. So I have two versions installed right now, 2019.1 and 2019.3. Uh, and so the project that I am using is 2019.1, which means if we want the templates to be used, we need to modify that version. So I need to go into 2019.1 and then go into the editor folder, the data folder, and then the resources folder, and finally the script templates folder. Um, so I did that kind of fast, but it's editor, data, resources, script templates. Um, and there's a bunch of other things in there. Not super interesting. The only thing that I've found particularly interesting is the CG includes. Um, if you're working with shaders, this is all of Unity's default shader functions that you can mess around with. Um, but other than that, there's other things. So we're going to go back into the resource folder, go into the script templates, and we want to modify our mono behavior. So this on the right hand side should look fairly familiar. I'm going to open that in Visual Studio Code quick. And so this is, is the template for our, for our file. There's a few things here that are special. This uh, script name is going to be the name of the script that you inserted. This is why your classes are named what you call your script file, because that's, that's what it says to do. Uh, and then the no trim is saying don't remove this, I believe. I'm not entirely sure what that, that's there for. I haven't found any documentation on any of this, <laughs> um, but I don't, I, don't, I don't actually know what that's for. Um, but this is this is the default function. For me, we don't need these comments. They're, they're just extra extra fluff that are telling me what the functions do, but I know what the functions do. So I don't need them. And I also prefer to have a namespace. Uh, and that just kind of helps keep my code separate from everything else. And if I need to include it in tests or something like that, or separate it off further into multiple different like sub namespaces, we can do that. So we're just going to create a world of zero namespace. Uh, like that, and let's just do that. And that is our function. If we wanted to modify other things, like say swap out start for awake, you could do that here as well if you want to include a fixed update. So void fixed update. We can do that. I'm going to leave out that no trim and maybe we'll figure out what that does. Uh, but this is adding a fixed update. If we want to be more explicit and make these say public functions, we can do that as well. Uh, it's just whatever, whatever you want your defaults to look like, that's how it's going to work. And then once you actually go into your project, you just, it automatically gets applied. So we just get, create a new C sharp script and we're just going to call this our example script because why not? And so we should see a class called example script that got created with a fixed update function in our namespace. And it doesn't have any of the comments either, so there we go. I have no idea what that no trim does because they look the same to me. Um, oh, that's what it does. Okay, so the difference is this one doesn't have white space, this one does. Um, so this is already pre-tabbed for you if, if that's something you care about. Um, anyway, that is, I guess, the the basics for, for editing that. There's a few other uh, templates here. Um, if you want to modify like the default shader template, that's in here as well. If you want to modify the other things that get, get generated, like your custom scripts, you can modify the default generated script for tests if you want to do that. Um, if you're working with the state machines from uh, uh, Mechanim, you can actually work with that here as well. So the new state behavior things that you're creating, pretty much most of the generated code files that Unity does are stored here somewhere. And so if you want to change that and have something that you prefer, you can go in here and actually actually implement that here. Um, so that is just a really quick way to kind of optimize your workflow and make it a little bit easier to, to get Unity to do what you want instead of having to kind of adopt it to afterwards. Um, so hopefully that's useful and it's, it's pretty 
pretty useful. I'll leave the path to this and also try to link out to a blog or something that talks about this if you want something that's a little bit more textual. Uh, but that's pretty much all that I know about the subject. So, so there you go. Uh, hopefully it's helpful. Uh, but yeah, that's it for this video. So until next time, see you internet.